Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what actions will your person take towards you in the future? What actions will your person take towards you in the future? Now, I have three cards here, and these cards are going to represent the past, the present, and the future. So, what actions did they take towards you in the past? What actions are they currently taking? And what actions will they take in the future? All right? So just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'd, I'd appreciate that too. All right, so let's get started. First card we have in the past position is the Five of Wands Reverse. In the present position, we have the Eight of Pentacles Upright. And in the future position, we have the Ten of Pentacles Upright. All right, so looking at the past, we do have here the Five of Wands in reverse. Um, this can represent that you two um, were rivals in some way, like you two had a lot of disagreements with each other. There was maybe a lot of um, arguments or just overall conflict between you two. Um, and it does represent that this person wanted to create balance in in this connection with you but we will clarify so let's see if we can get further information here this is someone i feel like it's they're non-confrontational i think they run away from confrontation or from conflict or drama it's like they rather not be a part of it. Clarify Five of Wands, Spirit. Thank you. We have here the King of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, there was something that was um, not right in your relationship with this person in the past. There was lacking stability here. There was a lack of stability. Um, I feel like there was a lack of teamwork or there was a lack of getting just getting along with each other. Having maybe different values, having different expectations from each other. Clarify um, King of Pentacles again and Five of Wands. Spirit. Actions towards Scorpio in the past. We have here the card of Empress of Upright. So this person did feel an energy of attraction to you. Um, they very much admired you. They very much had feelings for you here. So this could have been a little bit of a love-hate situation for some of you. Give me another card, Spirit, please. Five of Cups in reverse. So they did want growth with you, with the Empress card. They wanted a new beginning with you. But with the Five of Cups, they might have been involved with a third party. They might have been dealing with an ex. Clarify with another card, Spirit. Thank you. And the Knight of Rods upright. Yeah, this is a card of, um, you know, someone who, who's, who's avoiding commitments. Someone who wants to have a passionate relationship, but they're not looking towards commitment. They just want to enjoy the passion and the um, physical attraction, sexual attraction with you without attachments you know so i do feel like this person was dealing with more than one person they had a third party here and it's like they didn't want to get too serious yeah with the king of pentacles and the five of wands they didn't want to get too serious all right what about in the present let's see eight of 
pentacles in the present position here. What are their current actions? This can mean that they are focusing on their work, focusing on building, building up their finances. They can be focused on personal projects. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, that's what I thought. Six of Pentacles in reverse. I don't feel like this person is giving you attention or time. It's like they're using all of their time to focus on their own interests, you know? Six of Pentacles in reverse means there is a lack of equality in your relationship with this person. There's a lack of balance. They are, um, they are in giving to you as much as you might be giving to them. Clarify with another question. And we have here the Five of Wands in the reverse again. So this is the same card that was in the past position. So nothing has changed is what I'm kind of feeling here. I feel like things things are, you know, same old, same old, same thing. Avoiding confrontation here, avoiding arguments, just kind of ignoring you, I feel. Yeah, they're they're not bothering to to like in, get involved with you. You know, they're not bothering themselves. They might be blocking you here with the 7 of wands. And with the chariot, it's like they're moving forward on their own. Um just really thinking about themselves, you know, thinking about their own feelings and their own um, needs and just kind of moving forward, like I said, on their own. Um, and I feel like they're blocking you here with the Seven of Wands. Yeah. And they're keeping themselves busy and distracted with other things that are not related to you. They might be opening themselves up here to other options in love with the Seven of Cups. All right, so let's see the future. Ten of Pentacles upright. Let's clarify that card. Spirit, why is this Ten of Pentacles upright here? What actions will this person take towards Scorpio in the future? And we have here the Queen of Swords upright. Hmm. <clears throat> this looks to me like in the future, this is them creating their own life. You know, just... Yeah, making, making a life for themselves. But it looks like it's solo, you know. Um, because the Queen of Swords, she... She cuts people out of her life. She's a very independent queen, very single. She's not a, a very much a relationship person. So I feel like this person in the future is just going to keep being just very focused on their own on their own things, you know. On um, just making their life uh, a life for themselves by them by themselves. Maybe spending time with family. Ten of Pentacles can be a card of family. Or focused on focused more on their family. Living with their family. And yeah, being single, I feel. This is a woman, but it can be male, okay? So um, male or female, just take it as... Whatever is your situation. Clarify with another card spirit. What actions will this person take towards Scorpio in the future? We have here the star upright. 
Okay, so the star bright might show that maybe they have hope to they have a hope to maybe reconnect with you or rekindle something with you. It's like once they've established themselves and once they have this stability um, for themselves on their own, um, it's like then they're ready to to contact you or to put it give you attention. Maybe a little bit self-interested here, this person. Um, like it's things have to be done on their time, you know, when they're ready. Um, regardless of how you're feeling or what your situation is, you know. Let me get another card, please, to clarify. Star, Queen of Swords, and Ten of Pentacles, please. Oh, and we have here the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse position. So if they do want to be with you again in the future, um, Scorpio, I don't feel like it's it's going to be with the intention of getting attached to you, okay? It's going to be with the intention of maybe like their past here, Knight of Rods, you know, just keeping it casual. It's like this person is protecting their own assets like they're protecting their assets their own stability here their own i don't know house it could be um it's like this person is protect protecting whatever is theirs and they're not looking to share what is theirs with you or with anyone you know and if they do want to reconnect with you it's just as <clears throat> As a company, I I want to say, I think the Queen of Swords she just she just wants company, but she doesn't need um, to be in a relationship with anyone. She's in a relationship with herself, you know, um, and she's she's good that way. She's happy that way. So while they might you know entertain or. Or enjoy the idea of maybe reconnecting with you. Um, they might come in the future and approach you. Although I don't see any action. Let me see if another card to see if any action comes up. No, no action. Eight of Wands in reverse. So this person's not going to take any action towards you, okay? Um, it's like they'll be open in here with the star card. They'll be open to receiving you, but I don't feel like it's going to be with the intention of having anything um, committed or, or creating any type of attachment with you. Okay? It's like for selfish reasons. The Queen of Swords can be very selfish, so they would want to reconnect with you for, for, their, own, um, for their own pleasure, you know, basically. If, if that were to happen but like I said they're not taking any actions they'll but they'll ha they'll just have the door open in case you want to come in you know all right so I hope that made sense Scorpio so that's everything I see here let me know if this resonated if it did please give me a thumbs up I'd really appreciate that and yeah I'll see you in my next video bye Scorpio